bring them in, bring them in, bring them in. And we got a lot to discuss today. But before anything, I Fet Perez is in uh what golf course are you on right now, uh Perez? This would be uh Wintergreen Resort in uh beautiful <laughs> Wintergreen, Virginia. <laughs> okay, and you could be Bald. in Augusta if he needs to be too. Sure. Um before anything, can we just talk about the stunt that Mikey V just pulled in, in the group? There's no stunt. It was a stunt that you just pulled in the group chat. He said Perez. I'm not evil, can evil. He said, I would really like the host to start I this would. meeting. He I sent would. that text and he mm-hmm. wasn't even in the lobby when he I, was I wasn't. I wasn't. And he in the joined lobby. a second after just to be a <laughs> douchebag. Like, what? The, the, seriously. I was I mean, sitting here. Just to be a douchebag. Uh, good, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, good evening, hey, Nicholas. Everybody. Good evening, Robert. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> everybody doing today? Hello, uh, we got a Cheers. lot to discuss today. Uh, first things first, Giuseppe D, back-to-back weeks now. Now, the first this week. Guy, man, this guy, man, this guy. This <laughs> guy. Now, last week. <laughs> got a lot of important Mexico. things going on, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. He was, yeah. He was in Mexico, um, and he was horseback riding, um, is what I believe he had said that he was going to be doing. So we said, okay, not a problem. We'll roll with the boys. This week, I get a phone call from Giuseppe D. His car, his Jaguar, has broken down on the his side. Jaguar? Of the <laughs> it's, on his la- it's on its last paw, Bear Down. <laughs> <laughs> that cat's seen better days. That's a cat that doesn't have nine lives. <laughs> really? I mean, it really has. That thing is just hanging on. By sometimes you, you but you buy far you buy foreign Perez, and sometimes you got to roll with the, the guy puts that thing through the ringer bob do you remember when he was driving around the the rear view mirror came <laughs> off of the window it was hanging down like a disc, disco ball by the electric wire and it was just it would just fly back and forth he drove like that for what Yo, a month he, two months he hasn't had ac in that thing since Jesus. 2017 bro well in la driving. you don't need ac because the weather's perfect <laughs> yeah and he wondered why i never wanted yeah, to drive true. but in the summer it's scorching on oh. that's why i never wanted to drive <laughs> so this is back-to-back weeks now no giuseppe d tried to make it happen but he wanted to do it before the monday night football game was oh, like right after the monday night football. i'm gonna be in bed by yeah then. i'll I'm be done I'm, 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 he's yeah. coast guy now Current. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. In regards to that Eastern time slot, the best is it not? I the 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 one o'clock football Sunday. No. Yeah. I do like the one o'clock football. Of course, I don't do. have to rush the workout. Mm. I can go nope. eat my lunch. I don't yep. know, man. I do like that one o'clock football Sunday slot. Yeah, and and and. I mean, for college football, I couldn't even imagine, like, if I had to get in front of the TV and settled for, That's what is it, 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. kickoffs. Like, if I had to get in front of a television this Saturday at 9 o'clock in the morning instead of noon that with the kids, that would be a big, big problem. Probably yeah. wouldn't happen. I got to be honest. It would be really, really difficult. So I'm glad that's not the case. I feel like you're going to sit in front of that TV for the same amount of time, no matter when it starts. But the optics are way worse if you sit down for a day of football at 9 a.m. Yeah. And, and go to the evening than a it is at worse. noon yep. to the evening. It just it just feels worse. Yeah. Yeah. I, I find myself rushing, you know, rushing a lot of workouts Saturday, too. I mean, the college football Saturday, you know how much pickleball I played before the college football game started. It, I, I'm telling you, by the way. You know, too, uh, Mikey V, the amount right. of calories, if I go and do an F45 class, okay, yeah. which I do, it's a 45-minute class, but it's tough. Um, I guess you could say um, it's like circuit training. You know, yeah. F45, it's pretty uh, tough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The amount of calories that I burn as Perez sucks down his corona, the amount of calories that I burn in, <laughs> in pickleball compared right. to F45 Mm. is not even close it's like a a little over two to one the pickleball more obviously yeah yeah it's crazy that's good though because i feel like that's more enjoyable too right yeah you don't even know you're working out right yeah Yeah. um fellas we got to get a lot we got a lot to get into today and i sent the message to the group chat prior to the podcast because we have a big thing going down um in miami the bob the sports team taking on miami and i i don't know and mikey i want to get your thoughts on it Fat Perez going to team chain. Now I got a chain Perez now busting out the chain. 
We saw the Miami chain, picks. chain gang. Yeah, chain what? Gang. What do you think if you were to look at this Miami picture? He's already got the outfits ready to go. Your thoughts on Perez going full Miami mode and chain mode? I think that uh, Perez reminds me a lot. If I had to, you know, the Animal Kingdom. If I had to point out an animal that reminded me of Perez, a lot of people would go this like grizzly good. bear or some type of, you know, <laughs> oh, some, God, type of, some type of some type of furry wooded woodland creature. I would go opposite. I would say Perez reminds me the most of the chameleon because Perez can really blend into any kind of situation with grace and style. And I've seen some of the attire that he's has lined up for Miami. And let me tell you something, the attire alone may be the worth the price of admission. I gotta, I gotta yeah. tell it exactly how it is. And chameleon. chameleon. Yeah, I kind of like, I remember what you said with Perez. Like when we were in, the, um, when we were in the cave watching football with Perez, yeah. doesn't he, for a bigger guy, Perez moves so gracefully. Grace. Like yeah. he really has, like kind of like, yeah. like what you were saying. I thought it was a ride because it's so true. It's very he's true. very, he's very graceful when he it's does. Not things. like one of these like clunky big guys. Like, clun- <laughs> like I'm, pro- I'm a lot clunkier than Perez is. I feel like you know, like I move around and I'm like a bull in a china shop. Perez like just glides and strides. It's like he's almost like on ice skates all the time, and he's just <laughs> now he's here, and then he's there. And he just, it's, it's very graceful, bro. So I, I, I got to say the chameleon. <laughs> Such a, two very <laughs> odd things to say about somebody. And, and I feel like I have to thank you both for what you said. No, it's a compliment. But I, compliment. it doesn't feel quite like a compliment. <laughs> no, um, it's, 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 <laughs> I wasn't always a bigger guy. And I'm I've seen seven, pictures. That's true. So I, I'm, I'm short, you know, I've had a low center of gravity. If anything, the weight has sort of grounded me even more so I can do things <laughs> and move in such a way that I, I simply couldn't have before. Um, so, you know, you take the good with the bad. Over it. It really is. It re- like I see what you're saying, but it really is a comment. You are very graceful in the way, even just the way you go about life. There's a lot of like, I, just graceful, I think, would definitely be the word for it. Um, in regards to the chain, though, that's a big. Now, Miss Perez gave it a hard no. It's not good. No, she she really doesn't like it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why? Why not? Why not? He looks like a coke dealer. Yeah, she she's just. I disagree. She In she Miami doesn't know thing. who this person is. Is her <laughs> is what she's saying. Yeah, she that's, that's a tough look. And coupled with the shirts that I, I came out with for Miami. <laughs> She's like, you look like Pablo Escobar. And I was like, I really appreciate that. That's exactly what I was going for. You know what I feel like for Miss Perez? Like, you got to feel for her. And, and I, we do love us some man, Cole. Like, bro, she never asked for this. Like, when she got married no. to Perez, like, she never married Fat Perez. Or she never married, like, you know, this guy that was going to go golf for a living. You know what I mean? So she's kind of going with it. She never asked for this shit. No. Well, sometimes you open Pandora's box and there you go. <laughs> yeah, you sometimes there's a gold chain inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but she's go coming ahead. to Miami. She's coming to Miami. So go. um, that's going to be interesting for, you know, her to kind of see the whole the whole show with the tournament and then the, after you know, pool party the next day and just – I don't think she's ever really run into like, like, can I, hey, oh my God, that's Fat Perez, you're Fat Perez. She's never really seen that because that doesn't happen when I'm home. And, you know, I don't, I, it's not, it's not, it's not the part. I love playing golf for a living. I don't necessarily love that part. It feels very odd. Um, but, it, you know, it's going to be an interesting thing, especially because I think people have heard about her through this stuff and the phone call content and that sort of thing. So be able to run into like, she, I can't, I can't tell, like, the over under on how many, like, I'm so sorry. Like, how do you deal with it? Like that conversation that she's going to have with people. I mean, it's got to be 80. Yeah, But you know what, though? And I think I've said it to you before, Perez. I think it's nice that, uh, you know, I look forward to her coming on the trip to where she, she almost like she knows. OK, like, you know, in a way, like he's in good hands, like that she could see now in trips moving forward. Not that she necessarily worries, but at least she could meet the whole crew and understand, OK, this is what we do. I mean, it, it's pretty crazy, but it's not all, you know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of wish I was, I t- you know, we were going to like Quail and she could see like our low key, yeah. like normal golf trip filming. Yeah, this is trips because it's going to take you to Miami. And she's like, oh, so you guys just have pool parties at, yeah, at, yeah. at places. You say, know what this, I mean? It's yeah, like, this is going to be like taking her to the Mardi Gras of, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. this isn't what it's like. Like, the, we're, we're, you know, the end of this weekend, we're going up to Sleepy Jupiter and, and filming golf for like, 
two days, you know, yeah. four days. So it's like that. So, you know, I might get a little bit, oh, you're off for off to another trip. Where's the pool party this time? You know, yeah. that that could happen. And you just you just wear that right on the right on the chin. Yeah, I'm in a tough spot because my dad wants to go and he's like, I would enjoy myself. You know, I'd have a lot of fun. And then he found out Anthony Volpe, the Yankees prospect, is going too. So like he wants to go. I'm like, Dad, like, I mean, <laughs> I just not you know, him. I don't I don't know if this is the oh trip for you, but yeah, I do think Let he would Mr. End up B hang in. Ball. Dude, seeing your dad like poolside with with the just nonsense that's going to be going on around him if he's just like if we're just like showing this and we just pan over and he's got he's just like he's nodded out with a magazine on him in the middle of this party can be pretty fucking how to play pickleball like a pro or whatever book that was exactly. he was reading bob yeah yeah it would really it would really be terrific yeah he was reading a book that said uh smart pickleball that's um it. yeah that's smart pick well he's really he's been taking over the content um bear down i want to swing it to you and I, i'm being dead honest with you and i we've said our appreciation about it before okay mm. i had to babysit my nephew for the past <laughs> three days and i love this kid and he's tremendous and i really had a ball i have absolutely no idea how you pull off what you pull off and look Perez I I hope you know and Cole's not upset with me for steering her you know you away and I don't want to steer anybody away I end up wanting to have kids but I'm telling you right now man this ain't I mean this stuff you talk about Mike it's not like a Tamagotchi Bob you know (laughs) it's not like you could just hit the reset button if you fuck up fuck up it's like yeah yeah reset the clock to the p.m. instead of the a.m. so you don't have to be responsible for it all day now it don't work like that it's a lot of wear and tear Mikey V it is it's exhausting and uh shout out to obviously to Holly who really handles the majority of the the children but yeah it's if it's another full-time job to add to the resume and i mean once you're dabbling in multiple children i mean then it's really just you see the first kid it's like everything you're doing so perfectly like you're cutting his things up nicely and you're preparing his meals and everything is so nice when you have two three i i mean i have three but when you have two and i've heard from friends and my my some of my siblings who have three uh, and you go into the twos, threes, fours. It's just survival mode at that point. You're just you're just looking to make it through the day. You're just slinging shit out on a plate and saying, "Here, have at it, have at it, hoss," and just do what you got to do to survive. I mean, because it is survival of the fittest. It really, it really is. That's what it comes down to. That's where it boils down. With the first kid, are you always on it? Like I was always on edge that something was going to happen to him, yeah, especially because yeah. it's not my kid. That you know what I real mean? Quick. It does, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's like, oh, he fell. All right, you get up and shake it off, rub some dirt on it. I mean, it's it's just you know, unless we're talking like fevers of a hundred and two or higher, it's like okay, it's another day that he's got the sniffles or the baby's got the sniffles. It just it changes your mindset because you can't be as you know, uh, you can't be a helicopter parent to multiple kids. It's impossible. You'll drive yourself insane. Uh, One kid is different story. Multiple is tough, but. When you're not used to caring for a child like you, Bob, and I mean, cold cuts really doesn't count as a, as a child. So um, when you're not used to caring for a child, um, that's a culture shock. That's a culture shock. And uh, I'm glad you were exposed to that. I think it's yeah. good for you. Um, and, you know, God bless your sibling for 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 giving you that opportunity and trusting you with it. That's good. That's good. Yeah, Uncle, Bob do- is good. Uncle Bob is a good Bob. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Again, it just, it, it was very, um, it didn't steer me away from wanting to have kids. I think I could end up being a good dad, but it was very eye-opening to me. Now, for people listening on the audio, what I recommend you to do is go over to the YouTube and throughout that entire little segment there, just watch Fat Perez's screen. I mean, <laughs> just really keep an eye uh, It's on horrifying. That. What yeah. he's, he's speaking yeah. of, like, it's it sounds like... Um, Sounds like uh, like prisoner of war camp is what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I mean, that. that's what I'm picturing. No, it's just like that. I'm, I'm captured. <laughs> I'm locked up. My whole life has changed. No. You, know what, <laughs> like, you know what the sickest things about kids is? Is like you could have the absolute absolute shittiest day of all time. Like the shittiest, most stressful, worst day, and it could be revolving around things that your children did that made you feel like this all right? right however it only takes like one moment where the kid like runs up to you and like they're looking their eye that you are the most important thing on the face of the planet 
no matter what you do, you know, because you're going to piss your wife off eventually. You're going to piss your significant other off eventually. Like they're going to hate your guts at one point or another for a period of time. Kids literally, they're, they're, it's in one ear, out the other. And they just, they have that like internal obsession with their parents when they're that little. And when they do that and they come running up to you, like that one little tiny span of whatever it is, even if it's like 10, 15 seconds, and you're like, all right, this is this is why I did it because this is fucking this is really cool. Yeah. Like, and you got to cherish that because once I know once my daughter turns like 14 or 15, she's gonna motherfuck me up and down the road. I mean, that's <laughs> that's the way it goes, right? Like, like your yeah. parents are scumbags that when you're in that like shit eating stage where you think you know everything and you know your parents are this, your parents, but that one little moment, that one little moment, you gotta hold on to that and cherish it. You hear really that, Brett? You hear that, Brett? <laughs> now, Perez, I respect, I respect those, you know, I have some great friends of like mine I just, who are married. I just look in the mirror, you know, <laughs> if I want that look, I'll just go look in the mirror. I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love yourself before anyone else can yeah. love you. Do you, Never do you forget see, that. do you think you guys are going to have more than two kids? Cause I've heard once you have more kids than like more than two yeah, and you're outnumbered it's I've just heard, a whole nother I've, ball game. I, i've heard that as well from multiple people with three kids and uh that's uh i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna plead the fifth on that right now and give a Smart. give a give a no comment on that that's if Smart. this was my press conference i would just say next question i mean that's the 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 sick part of me the real sick part of me would love to see Perez have a kid because if you get a baby Perez, you think from a content perspective, like I think when Jersey Jerry called me to let me know he's going to have a kid, my first thing was, wow, the content's going to be amazing. You know, you content know I mean? guy. Content yeah. first. <laughs> content uh, first. Congratulations. Uh, content is, is good with the kids. It's, it's just a, like, do you feel comfortable putting your kids out like that? And from time yeah. to time I do, but I try to, I try to limit it as much as I can, but some shit is just so funny. I'm like, you know what, at this point, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I think if Bavada set the favorite of, of the Bob Does Sports crew or the Brilliantly Dumb crew to have the next kid, I would say it's got to be me and Cuts at the top as the favorites. I would say Cole Cuts has got to be above the favorite of let me, Perez. Let me tell you, Bear Down. No, I think that was I not think, what I was I mean, he's, I think, yeah, but Perez, he's moving. I mean, they're moving fast. No? Yeah. Bear Down, I think he might beat you to three kids. Yeah, maybe <laughs> oh, he <will>. geez. <laughs> Cole Cuts would be the guy who, who he gets his wife or fiance pregnant and then, like, she finds out that it's, like, triplets. That would yeah. happen to <laughs> Joe. If it was going to happen yeah. to, it was yeah, holy shit, bear down. Like I was just trying to have one in it. You know, today I was told there's three on the way. It's to cutsy, be honest, you know, I'm not ready for that. Cutsy puts out some real quality stuff, bear yeah. down. You know, it's real <laughs> stuff. I don't want to say it's You know, it's, it's not it's surprising if I'm being honest. I mean, <laughs> always knew I'd have twins or triplets. And I always <laughs> knew I'd have twins or triplets. That is terrific. And ladies and gentlemen. Right on cue there. He is calling from the iPhone from the broken down oh, car. Without further ado, let's bring in the big fella himself. That is Giuseppe iPhone. D from the iPhone reporting. Oh, he's home. From God wow. knows where he oh, is. Not, dear. He does not look he happy. Does not. Joey D. Tell you what, though, the Sunday the, swagger drip is really. Uh, he's really got the Sunday swagger the rolling. Shirt. And whoa! Oh. Oh, whoa, Christmas. look at that hair, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Cutsy, um, talk to us. Say hello to the folks here. The boys are uh, boys are humming right now, and we're happy to have you aboard here because we wouldn't fully be humming without a little bit of Joey D. And I'll tell you what else is humming is that Jaguar because that yeah, thing yeah. is Jaguar. on the absolute wit's end. Joey D, we'll give you the stage. I'm uh, glad you had to get your kicks in there, Bob. That's That's great. I tell you what, man, today has been, you want to talk about, you know, the good Lord has put me through the ringer today. And I'll tell you what, I tried. I really tried, Bob. I tried. I, you know where Chevy Chase Country Club is? I was on the opposite end of town. The fucking car starts breaking down. I, 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 I can't get out. I try to call my AAA. AAA has been expired. I can't get a tow truck to come get me. And I proceed to drive down alleyway streets through crack alley through downtown Los Angeles while the car is 
stalling. <laughs> Did you run into Perez and his gold chain? I'm turning the car on and off. <laughs> Bob, I kid you not, I stopped next to Echo Park or whatever that park is. I thought I was going to get killed. There was crack addicts everywhere. Now, here's I the worst, what, man, here's the worst part. Here's the worst part. Yelling at me. Because Joe, here's, here's the worst part to it all, okay? And we're sorry about the vehicle, but in my eyes, one of the worst things is Cutsy actually had Kyler Murray in his starting lineup on fantasy football today. Oh. Kyler Murray has been ruled out. I hope he misses the cold. rest of the season. For I hope he misses cold. the rest of the season. I couldn't do anything. I had Geno Smith and Kyler Murray. Geno Smith's on a bye. Kyler Murray is, is, is playing. I can't pick up a third quarterback. So short of dropping Kyler Murray for Colt McCoy, there is nothing I could do. And by not having him play tonight, I was playing against McCaffrey and the, I had a 10 point lead. I had, I had Murray against McCaffrey and the defense for San Francisco. So I'm done. That's it. I'm finished. I'm toast. Okay. Well, here's the good news is Joey D and we will get the Jag back up and running. We're sorry for that. We do I'm, appreciate it. Well, I'm bringing it well, in tomorrow. I'm selling it for parts. Well, let's well, maybe not even sign up for parts. Why not just get a new car? I mean, I think it's at the point where you I don't think sold you'd... that. You could have sold that catalytic converter on in Crack Alley while you were driving. For sure, yeah. We got top like, you, you know they're what? Hot, they're hot. Yeah, those it's like converters. it's like Glaber Torres. The Yankees could have sold him last mm-hmm. year. They would have got good value for him. Now, the more that thing, the car only has down. fifty thousand miles, Bob. It's not. It's not a lemon. The thing just I, it keeps saying <laughs> car break. Park break fault service. I I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I wish if I could go back in time, there's one thing I wish I would have learned as a child is I wish I would have learned vehicles. I wish I would have learned how an engine works so I could pop the hood and look under like a real American man and be able to figure and can and conspire a vehicle and not just pray to the heavens that it will go an extra block when I turn the ignition on. Joe, how do you feel about you're, you're Canadian? <laughs> I'm 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 a dual citizen press. Ah, yeah. By Do the you way, grow up? Yeah, okay. Gotcha, Cutsy, gotcha, gotcha. The last thing that I will say, Gutsy, and then we will get to the buy or sell segment. Gutsy's been <laughs> ra- Gutsy's been racking up USA, uh, United States tickets. Like he gets a ticket everywhere he parks because he just parks. Why do you tell everybody this? <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> because he thinks that because well, if car, you sell the car, <laughs> yeah, you don't owe the money on the tickets. You just got to <laughs> act quickly before they put a lien on your title. Yeah. Spoken fast. like a man who knows. Well, the car is not registered in the United States, so they're screwed. Oh boy, it's registered in British Vancouver, Columbia. So he's just been racked up tickets, so he doesn't think that. <laughs> then they're gonna bang. Did, did you him. buy it in, I in Canada? A loophole in the system. Yeah, I bought it in Canada. Like it... a parking vigilante. <laughs> yeah, the VIN. The VIN is from Canada. They're screwed. They can't get me. Does it show kilometers or miles per hour? Yes, kilometers and miles underneath. So is he uh-huh. in the clear? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's fine. They can't get me, Bob. They, they've been trying to get me for years. I'm like uh, Newman in Seinfeld, you know, the white yes. whale. Yeah, the white dude's, whale. Dude's yeah. living, looking over his shoulder. Every uh, siren that goes down yeah. San Vicente, he you starts looking over his Bob. shoulder. If they have those like express lanes, you know, like the fast lanes, yeah, he hits I it. just roll right in <laughs> Dude, it because it takes a picture of my license, but they can't do anything. Yeah, so it's a so, free so. ride. Is he? I mean, bear down. Would you say that you're you're the most reasonable out of all of us here? Would you say that he's in the clear? With that being said, I'd say he's a vigilante, Bob, and uh, yeah. you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna no, endorse any of these apart. activities. I'm on um, an absolute cooler right now, Bob. I got. Banged left, right, and center. All right, well, let's go. Well, well, and now we're gonna get the he's down. very, he's should've, very should've wrong. Should have rode the, uh, the only subs pick tonight, Joe. Oh, 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 let's, oh, let's, let's not get going in that. I'm paying for uh, losers. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. I, hit my last I, know, two, I know what his cell is. You know, I, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I used to be able to count on Mikey B when I jumped on a pick that he was so consistently good. Oh, and now it's like there's like something in the air. Whenever I ride, we when lose. Joe rides, it's I been bad. Ride, yeah. it, it, it's it's yeah. like God is toying with me. It's I don't understand it. Okay, well, Remember the glory that, uh, days, Mikey V, when we'd hit the Bulls, the, the Buffalo God. Bulls, and we'd be cheering and loving. This this has gone south. Buffalo Bulls, this hell of a football program. Now, <laughs> all right, program. now let's now, fellas, let's let's go ahead and let's get in. To, <laughs> Kutzi, I'm not going to start with you on the buy or sell segment. Let's just take a couple breaths over there and get back to speed here, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliant and Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant and Dumb Show is brought to you by First Person. We all want to turn back 
exact clock. For some, it's for vanity. Others, just to relive those glory days. I know I do, but you can't do that if you don't have your mind and your brain in the right place. I would love to wake up every morning with zero brain fog, a clear mind, and be as energized as I was when I was 22, 23. And you can do that with first person, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm a big nostalgia guy. I like to think about the good times. I like to have a clear mind, remember things the right way, take care of myself. Thanks to first person, I can take a more active role in my brain's overall health. First person supplements made with functional mushrooms aim to stimulate the body's natural production of specific neurotransmitters that trigger activities like energy, mood, and sleep. Three damn big things right there. Start improving your brain health and cognition with first person. Take it from Bob himself. It's a no-brainer. Get 15% off your first order by going to get firstperson.com and use code dumb that's get firstperson.com code dumb for 15 percent off your first order again get firstperson.com code dumb start taking care of your brain today you want a clear mind you want a clear brain you can't go wrong with first person uh do you have a nice pop in your fridge joe no, ice pop. I was say, ice like pop a, would be like perfect a for answer. you right now. Yeah, usually he's got I an ice pop. Have more food in my fridge right now than I ever have. Well, okay. All right. Well, maybe, maybe we could do... The cold stock the fridge up, so I actually have a lot of food in there, but I probably won't eat half of it. I'll tell you what you do you have. Corona Premier, perhaps? That is absolutely I right. Pat Perez. Lord knows I need one after the day I've had. Fuck. Joe, you can, know, we, the thing about Joe, the can way... we please start the buy or sell <laughs> segment? Please, can we start this? Can we get rolling into this, Giuseppe Day? Be my guest. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the buy or sell segment. What did you like that you saw from the week? What did you not like? Buy or sell? Could be a food chain, Pat Perez. It could be a athlete. It could be anything and everything. I don't. I, I did not. By the way, I did I mean, not mean to say, Perez. I was. Yes, you did. You did, what, you did what you did. <laughs> You did exactly what you did. Oh, Brez, I swear to you, I did not mean to do that whatsoever. Honest to God. That's did I not say that to you in the text message? Same thing. It yeah, could be anything. Same, I had the same reaction when I saw it in text message. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be, it could be the yeah. same thing. Okay, well, let's start. Um, let's start over with Mikey B. This is buy sell. Um, let's start over with Mikey V. He will probably be selling the Michigan Wolverines. No, no, okay. I mean, I always sell, I could sell them every week, but no, I'm gonna sell uh I'm gonna sell this World Cup venue. I'm going to sell Qatar. Uh, this has been the, it's just not an environment where the world cup should be held. People are not being allowed into the stadium for reasons that I'm not going to get into because of their beliefs, whatever the apps are crashing with people with tickets outside of the stadium. They, they, uh, they went back on their contract with Budweiser and they're not serving any alcohol at the games. The referees today were absolutely horrendous, probably cost the United States their first three points. They got a point they drew against Wales just a horrible, horrible venue, all about money. FIFA's totally corrupt. It's a joke organization, <laughs> has been for some time. I can't wait for four years from now when it comes back to American soil and Canadian soil, and it's in North America. That will be fun. I, I really, bucket list stuff, I want to go to at least one game. Uh, and and the, the Qatar thing is just so bad. There's nothing good about it. It's a thousand degrees. They use slave labor labor to build the fucking stadiums they're never going to be able to use these stadiums and bob this is true you could react the way you're reacting it's well documented they they're it's an absolute disgrace and it's the same thing that happened in brazil minus the alcohol when the world cup was in brazil some years ago they built these stadiums and after the world cup's over they can't fill them for anything they have these stadiums in brazil now they use them for like five-year-old birthday parties that's not an exaggeration the same shit's gonna happen in qatar Yo, Joke, that'll, disgrace I'll, I'll be honest with you That'll low key go down. Now there might be some stuff in there that could cancel us all. Yeah, but that'll no. low key no. go down no. as, as one there's of my nothing, favorite. There's nothing cells. that's going to cancel us. There's nothing. There was confirmed slave labor to build the stadiums, Bob. Bro, listen, listen, guys, guys, guys. We're not going to pretend that things aren't happening that are happening. We didn't do it. America didn't do it. 
Qatar fucking did it because FIFA allowed them to win the bid for the World Cup and shame on FIFA. But some yeah. fucking sultan from Qatar greased FIFA the other billions expert. of dollars to host a fucking World Cup. That's what <laughs> happened. We're calling it exactly as we see it here. Selling Qatar. Man, on that will go down. You, you can't sell the country. Sell the venue. I'm selling the World Cup venue of Qatar is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, but you can't Kick sell save the beauty. Joe, I'm sorry if this is going to affect the United uh, Arab Emirates uh, potential sponsorship, but I have to call it like I see it. I would like to potentially sign a deal one day with Arab Emirates. I want to, you know. Oh, I mean, but that why. being said, I agree with everything he said. Everything he said is absolutely, and I know you're laughing, Bob. It's spot on. They spent millions of dollars for Budweiser, and then they pulled it. And by the way, Beardown, do you know that they had sobriety stations in the stadium? So if you drank here, you had to go into a sober up station yeah. until you were sober enough to leave to go back. They had TVs. You know how long it would take Perez to sober up? <laughs> I'm just like, TVs. Be right. <laughs> it's gotta go back to Perez. Yo, that'll go. <laughs> that will go down as one of my favorite cells of all. Like Bear Down's rant right there. That was absolutely fucking splendid. Probably should be on the only subs as well. One of those rants like yeah, that. Can't by the way, we got that for free. Yeah, keep an eye out, well, guys. Um, you know what? You're all loyal. Yeah, loyal yeah subscribers. We, we sure are. Um, that was terrific, and uh, I'd hate to follow that up, so I'm not. And we'll send it over to Fat Perez for the buyer results. I guess. <laughs> um, I'm gonna sell um golf below 50 degrees outside. Um, I love the game of golf. I really do. I would like to play it every day. Um, one of the perks of of this gig that we have going on, but I simply don't love it enough to play under 50 degrees. Um, you know, I've never have, I did it because I didn't have a choice. Um, you know, cause I worked all week and I had to get something, but now, you know, I don't, uh, I just don't want to do it anymore. If, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a polo and then it's a, it's a breezy apparel hoodie or a breezy apparel quarter zip and, and anything more than that, any other layer after that, I can't swing anymore. And it's like, why am I going out here? I can't hit the golf ball because, you know, I've already got this weight situation that's already keeping me where I'm at. And then I got to put a jack. I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm going to sit inside. I'm going to drink. I might tell my wife I'm going to go play golf and then just go in the grill and drink for five hours. That sounds Maybe. like fun. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm selling I'm selling cold golf. I would go I, golfing uh, with you on a 40 degree day if that's the way we're going to do it. Yeah. The last time I came back to Jersey when I came to visit Mikey V and I mean, I'm just having just the ball. You know, we get to see Nikki Diamonds and we're, they, the food is all great. I'm thinking, man, you know, I really miss New Jersey. Um, and then I went to golf. So just to, to piggyback off that, Perez, I, I mean, and then it was cold. There's nothing worse than being cold. You know what I mean? And then you throw the golf on top of that. Now, Perez, at least you're hitting the sweet spots. Me, oh, yeah, I'm not I mean, hitting I the sweet imagine. spots. Yeah, you hit it you thin know? at that thing. You feel it up through your hands. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you, you know, you, you, it's it's like one of the few times that, like, I consider walking because when you walk, you like your your heart rate goes and you're supposed, <laughs> the you're supposed, sound to, you're supposed <laughs> to be warmer, right? <laughs> you get the wind coming at you. It's, 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 it's a lose-lose. It's either I got I to gotta walk, which I hate doing, or I got to sit in this car and I just get blown by cold air. Yo, the, the, the people that have, like, the, the, like, the covers with the heater – the oh, propane yeah. heater in the cup holder. Yeah. Okay. I can yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Now, Joey D, let's send it on over to Joey D. Um, what will you be selling today, Joey well, D? Well, I'll start off by selling the fucking Jag. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> or you can leave it. And it probably will be if I got any buyers. By the way, Jet needs a car. I might give it to him. Um, but Moving on, I think I'm going to sell all-inclusive resorts. I'll tell you what. I went to a non-all-inclusive resort, and yeah, they banged me, Bob. They really banged me. But I'll tell you what. I've never had better food, better service, and a better experience at staying at a non-all-inclusive resort on a faraway destination. It was top-notch, top-class, so I guess I'm buying non-inclusive I don't know what I'm saying here. I'm selling. You're all buying. Let me get this straight. You're, you're buying, buying luxury. You're buying luxury. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're buying luxury, luxury vacations. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's understandable. Yes. Yeah. I buying sell two and a half star hotels and I buy five star. <laughs> but, you know, situations lead you to, you know, 
means but so I tell you what, no, but this difference is, and Mike EV, you you probably know they they say five star all inclusive resort. It's not five star. It's like a three star equivalent of a regular resort. And I went I went to Mexico, and and Bob, I feel bad when we went. You did not experience it the way that you should have. I'll experienced. never be back. But I'll that's bullshit. You you got you got screwed. You had the wool pull over your eyes, and and you if you would have seen how I was living like James Bond in 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 this oh. resort, it was so nice, I, and the food was so fucking good. I, I'll never. I I don't want to do all inclusives again. I'm almost like I'll bite the bullet. But at least I know my drinks aren't watered down. My food is top notch and everything from start to finish is going to be exceptional. I'm going to get banged on the price end. But you know what? You pay for what you get. That's bad because I tell have that, a tell that, for, yeah. <laughs> tell that to Jed who's going to be driving the Jaguar around. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think first before I give it to him. Okay. That's love. That's love. Um, okay. There he goes. Custodial press and gold cuts is buying luxury. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's it's, unbelievable. I feel like I've watched these before with you guys, and you're like, you got to buy something that isn't like an obvious buy, right? Like, it's like yeah. buying courtside seats. Like, of course, you're going to buy courtside seats. Yeah. They're fucking better than not courtside seats. Those nosebleeds are dog like, shit. Grab man. something that you would. You know, yeah, you shouldn't although, grab. Perez did sell cold golf, which I don't think a whole lot of people are buying cold golf. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. I think I upset a part of the country. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> over like north of Pennsylvania is pretty pissed off right now. Um, I okay, I am gonna. Uh, did we have oh no, uh, Kati with the buy there? Well, you technically would say you sold there, no, Joey D? Yeah, he sold all inclusive yeah. resorts. Okay, yeah. yeah, so we so we sold. Um, I'm actually, I am going with a sell. <laughs> little bit of a hot take but i've been just just very very disappointed with the guy because i really really i i've i've always been so fascinated with him because he's just a genius and he's he's so fascinating to watch and i i got to sell elon musk's twitter career so far um i don't know what you've been seeing with him with what he's been doing with twitter and he's just brought in a firing squad just right and left. Now, here's the thing. I don't mind. Obviously, the guy knows what he's doing. He's a genius. The way he's been firing his employees and almost mocking them. I don't know if you saw him in an interview. He was talking about he had his intern create an app that has like voice features and can talk like the president, can talk like all these different people. And fired people at Twitter using <laughs> this app, and almost it's like it's like people. That's lost. So it's sick. so sick, but <laughs> funny. Yes, but brother it's sick. What's that? Showtime's brother worked for him at SpaceX. He said he fires people if they blink the wrong way. Mm. Yeah, I mean that. Look again. The guy clearly knows what he's doing. But this start, I mean, it has been now Bear Down's probably loving it. Bear Down played his cards right, and I don't blame him. And I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> the blue check on Twitter, as soon as Elon Musk announced that it was eight dollars a month for a blue check, Bear Down had a blue check. He was <laughs> all over the blue check. <laughs> he was <laughs> love that. <laughs> he was next thing you know, he had a blue check. I want to do the That's same so thing. Ridiculous. That takes away the val validation of the blue check. I agree, but if you're in a position yeah, like it takes away the validation of the blue <laughs> check. <Wow. laughs> if, if you're in a position, uh, I, I'm I'm with Bear Down in the sense of if he says to do that, and you can do it. Shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the but money. But now to everybody's do it too. gonna have a blue check. Everybody. No, he actually tweeted tonight that he's gonna be pulling it back. Not oh, from people who so? already, not Ooh, that it, from people who already got it, but he's going to be pulling it back because of all the uh, the, the fake accounts that are posing as celebrities. So right. he's going to pull it back. So I think I got in on the ground floor. I thought maybe, Aaron, maybe I, I thought caught lightning in a bottle. Here. I thought Aaron Judge signed to the Dodgers. Yeah, it's sick <laughs> what people do, man. See, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like you're going to take something that could be a positive, and you're going to do something like that, which is yeah. so ridiculous. Yeah. I understand what he's doing. I mean, the reality is he's selling these blue check marks because you have to go through a verification process to establish that you are in fact a human being. So he's trying to combat the bots. Cause I think when he went to buy this thing for like 40 some million dollars, he asked them like, how many of your fucking accounts are real? And they were like, we don't fucking know. And then they, they had to go and figure it out. And it was something like 40% or 
or something like that. Yeah. Percentage of all the accounts yeah. were just fucking bots. So it's like, the fuck am I buying? Like, it's, yeah. it, well, it, so too, he's trying to monetize Twitter. There was never any yeah. ability to make money off of Twitter. So by buying it, he's by doing this, he's implementing an opportunity to make money off of the app, which, which given the right, he has every right to do. Yeah. He bought it. But I just don't know if like, the, the beauty of the blue check, Bob, if you have it, is like, you know, the reason you got your blue check is because you had people posing as you. And if somebody wants to actually find the real brilliantly dumb Robert Berger, like the blue check indicates that this is indeed the person to follow and you can bypass all these other separate accounts. But if everybody's buying blue checks then exactly what Bear Down said, it, it makes it difficult to know who the fuck is actually and legitimate. That's, yeah. And that's why I think he's, he made that announcement tonight that he's pulling it back. Cause I think they're experiencing way too much of that. So I think that's well, what they're. Bear, I they fuck Bear Down. I wish I got, to, I wish I got to it earlier, but, but again, I, I do want to clarify though, that my, my sell on Musk right now is is not about really the blue check thing. I mean, yeah, I don't think that was the smartest idea. For me, it's the fact that he is just – he is off his rocker to where all of us depend, for the most part, depend on our livelihood is through Instagram, you know, all these social medias. If Elon Musk took over Instagram – I would be very, very worried if he was this erratic right now. Now, I'm not saying he won't right the wrongs. Again, the guy knows what he's doing. But if somebody this erratic then took over Instagram, I'd be lying to you if I told you I wouldn't be very, very worried. Bob, what's his name owns Instagram? Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. He's not, he's no, not I know. I, I know he's not, but I'm just saying that that if he did like something like that. I mean, Twitter, it's not a lot of people rely on Twitter. Um we yeah. talk about it all the time, Mikey V. We when 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 the Instagram thing went down the other day, we were freaking out because that's our livelihood, man. Yeah. We can't, we you know it's 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 crazy that we rely on a platform that is online, but that's the volatile. Fact. It's very volatile. If it yeah. all came, all if it all fun. fucking came crashing down, I mean, it would it would hurt. It would you know what was your hurt. bonds? Yeah, you know, it was right? a big a big day for me, Perez. I don't know if. I mean, Perez was definitely in the crew. I mean, I remember specifically me, Bear Down, and and Cutsy. The day that Instagram, it looked like somebody hacked into Instagram, yeah. and it was bad. Oh yeah, we were a we were a wreck. <laughs> and <Perez, laughs> what you say, Joe? That was during the pandemic. Perez wasn't in the group chat back then, yeah. and I remember it was like, and it went for like half a day, yeah. and it was almost like we entered into like the dark ages again. It yeah. was like. It, I remember we were texting in the Gambler's Digest. My life is done. This beard, I goes, this is a travesty. <laughs> and Bob, Bob was ready to hang it up. <laughs> it was, yeah. There were all those yeah. things out there it that were like, day, dude. yeah, they were like, some of the code got deleted and like, you can never get that back. Like, it looks like it's just gone. And yeah. You're like, yep. Yeah, what? Was, How is that possible? Port, Portnoy ripped into one of his uh, bloggers because, like, a blogger put out that it was pretty much done, and like, he got really pissed that I, I that was it for me. I mean, that was a <laughs> that was a dark, dark day for me. But it did make me realize that day. It's like, okay, you have to expand and get yourself to a point to where if Instagram goes down tomorrow, you're gonna be okay. You can keep doing this because I ain't going back to the hotels. I mean, Bob, as long as you've got Cameo, you ain't going anywhere. You're fine. I was going to say, as long as Cameo doesn't crash, Bob. Cameo's going to put this kid. Start getting a camcorder and just sending DVDs out to people like Netflix. (laughs) Whatever it takes. In the back of a magazine page. (laughs) I got Cameos in my trunk. (laughs) What you want, birthday? You want bachelor party? What you want? (laughs) Bob, I was talking to the guy from the Canucks, and I was saying, you know, who, who... which guys watch Bob does sports? He goes, oh, he starts naming him. He's like, oh, and so and so got a cameo from Bob. I'm like, oh my god, this is just unbelievable, man. It's just uh, that, I'm happy for him. Happy you just him. you just gotta hope that Elon Musk doesn't take over cameo. God only knows oh. what's gonna happen to that, you know. <laughs> and look, I know I'm gonna take some heat for it, but it really is. You got to look into the to the whole thing with them. It it's it's pretty pretty bizarre. Um, all right. Well, I tell you what, fellas, I think this has been very, very enjoyable. You've had a lot going on. Uh, Joey D, the dedication to get here today is pretty special. It really is. I like to miss pods and I missed last week's and and then the thought of not of missing two in a row and, and people questioning my commitment and dedication. It just it was too much to bear. I was willing to I call, you know, the, the sick thing is Perez 
is when the car broke down, you know, I'm on the side of the road right before merging onto the freeway, thank the Lord. And, and instead of calling the tow truck, I called Bob first because I was worried I wasn't going to make it for the podcast time. Wow, and I was real. willing to do it live from the car and just throw a fit. But I'm glad I made it. Thank God. You know, I'm, I'm no worse for wear. But that no, this worked out nicely. I mean, I'm sorry about your car, though. <laughs> but this did work out nicely. But... Works out great for the jet, though. Yeah, yeah, the Jets, the yeah. Jets, the real winner here because apparently he's getting a Jag that that Still doesn't turn on. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't. The turn Jag on. lost a bit of its purr tonight. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Um, all right. Uh, By the way, we... Bob, you know, with all that cameo money, that GG wagon that you promised me years oh, ago, that was hey, nice. You gotta, come on, <laughs> well on my way. You got to <laughs> You got to give me a little bit of time. I think we're we, we're getting. You're number getting, one in cameo. You're breaking the bank. Well, I mean, look. So where, so where, where is his G wagon, Bob? Bob? Yeah. Where is? Let's be honest. Where's his G yeah. wagon? At? <laughs> well, you can lease it for a year. You don't have to pay for it for two years. Yeah, I'll get you. Like, I, a I'm promise get, is a like, promise, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Only good is our work, Bob. Joe, I'll get you an Emirates flight to Qatar. You and Mary down. Bring your own beer. Fucking plane. Fuck that. <laughs> I give you what if they offered you a, a whole trip, like all, all the nines, he everything included free. He ain't going. The first class? First class. Yeah, I'd probably go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. But I'm not going to the World Cup. Something mm-hmm. that I, I, I do want to. If Italy mention. was in, you'd go. Oh, man. I don't want to talk about that. That's so, a sore subject. That's just so sad to watch the World Cup without these idiots because they think they're better than everybody else and they never take qualifying seriously they go and win the euro and then they can't even make the world cup what a i don't shame. i don't want to what's up I don't, I don't want to blow our cover but i'm probably gonna end up doing that right now do you have a lead on i think every one of us is working on getting a sponsorship here for the boys do we have a lead on wendy's has there been any more dialogue hmm. with wendy's because wow. that would be Smart. a sponsorship that all of us could, yeah, there has did. been some dialogue there has been some whoa, dialogue whoa, whoa, what dialogue bob? well i all i did was when i saw the peppermint frosty came out i saw the <laughs> ad for it so i threw it on my story and was like uh, we'll see wendy's you know we'll see about this and they said something back to me like uh like we we're gonna see if you enjoy or something like that. They DM me back, so now I think they're waiting for the for the for the real for the for the full review. It's coming, it's coming. I'm just not gonna. <laughs> it's gotta be organic. Is there a way, if, Mikey V, if, is there a way that you could bring the boys in? If, if uh, they you're, you're, like, like, <laughs> you're like Johnny Drama, dude. <laughs> but listen, I have you got a role for me in your movie. I have Jack Links on the phone. So you know, you you I'll I'll trade you a Jack Link sponsorship for a Wendy's. Bear down, that's bear down. Would you take that's that drink? That's a very good. Well, I gotta be. That's uh, an awful. I, I, that's I, awful. I have to be honest. I'm not a beef jerky guy, but I mean, you know, we'll see. Okay. I'm not a beef jerky guy. I mean, I think I don't like ahead people. of ourselves that he's getting Wendy's, but I mean that would be nice. Well, let's just see what the review does. Let's let let's see what the review brings in. All I, faith in Bear down. Uh, by the way, he banged them for their chicken sandwich. I hope they didn't see that because he went in heavy on their chicken sandwich. I mean, if they didn't know it now, <laughs> they, is, they, they is, didn't know it then. They definitely is, know it now. Is, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> there goes your roll, Joey D. Jesus. Uh, it's, like, it's like, this is my low key be one of my favorite podcasts. And it, it, it started with Bear Down Cell of Guitar was, was <laughs> everything. That was absolutely just terrific. Um, you know, I, I think we, we hold off on the top five. I do. Oh, I just don't. You know what, Joe? The more I think about it, to be honest, and I got my five. I don't think it's a great. I don't think it's a great five. I, had, I, I was thinking about the top five the whole time I was on the side of the road. All right, we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing. First time hearing about it, so (laughs) I don't know if the graphics ready for four columns. I might just be listening. All right, we're gonna do. Out of respect to Joey D, we're gonna do top five Supermen, superheroes, Bob. Superheroes. We're gonna be doing top five superheroes. (laughs) Supermen. A lot of googling going on here for Bob in this top five. Right about that. I t- I did Google top five superheroes. I haven't seen a lot of them. I I really haven't. What have you seen? By the way, have you still not? You still haven't watched The Godfather. 
No, and I will watch that. That I will. Oh, I gotta, yeah, I gotta do. It that. hurts, Mikey V. It hurts. That oh, I will. Listen, this is who this is who Bob is, and I've just accepted it. <laughs> Why do you say it's like such a bad thing, Bear? I just no. I sound so, so upset I've, about I've, that. I've accepted it. I've accepted it. We're I doesn't to like improve movies. Your I, life. He's trying to improve your life by giving you grade A cinema that shockingly <laughs> never even witnessed. Oh my God, this guy, grade A cinema. Do me a favor, Joe. Don't call it cinema, okay? Don't, don't do it, man. No, Hollywood. Don't. <laughs> Hollywood. Um, uh, okay, see, that's a good thing with Perez. You guys get Perez these movies. I'm kind of jealous. You give him like a movie or a show, and next thing you know, you call him. He's on like season five, episode eight. Yeah, Perez is yeah. like that, yeah. Almost done with Entourage. Does, but- yeah good advice um okay joey d start us off top five superheroes let it rip it go I'm ready to go right out okay uh number five number five we're gonna go with spider-man everybody's favorite hero the local you know spidey sense uh just just a beloved beloved superhero i think you'd be remiss to not include him on the top five list um uh, and, and appealing to kids everything Give me Spider-Man at number five, right? Number four, I'm going to go with Iron Man. I think Iron Man, I like the that. whole I like concept that. behind it, fantastic. And by the way, couldn't be played by a better character in the actual action movies. Um, the whole allure of like his backdrop and story and how he's like a scientist and turns himself, I mean, and with the suit, turns himself into a superhero. I think Iron Man is deserving of four. Um Number three, give me Superman. I I think Superman. I mean, I think he could be one based on his powers alone. He's 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 by far. I mean, his only downfall is he's is, is Kryptonite, which I mean that's the one thing, and everybody has their own flaw. But aside from that, the guy shoots laser beams out of his fucking eyes. <laughs> he flies. He can run at the speed of a train. He's got un, unlimited superhero strength. I mean. I think you got to put Superman in the top three. Uh, number two, I'm gonna ch- I'm gonna choose just because it's one of my favorites. Give me the Hulk at number two. The Hulk is is just I mean this guy is encompassing of everything you want in a superhero. <laughs> Scientist once he blows his lid, he goes green, t- ginormous, unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's true. It's unbelievable. It's no, no, hunt. Perez definitely thought you said when he blows Whoa. his load, he Whoa. turns green. Yo, I've been Whoa. the in, the entire episode. I've been watching Perez, and yeah. who's watching on the YouTube probably knows I've been giggling the entire time. <laughs> Perez's facial expressions are just exceptional. It's just unbelievable. Cutsy, who do we got for the one little drum roll here, please, boys? I, I mean, it's obvious, is it not? Who do you think my number one? Is? The Cape Crusader. Obviously. Yeah, it has to be. Got to be Batman. Yeah. Batman, by to me, Bob did best. not know who the fucking oh, Cape Crusader was. I did. No, I was gonna say I know, know. I know. I know Batman. Oh, that's Cape terrible, Crusader. Bob. I, I thought it was you like know a that? Canadian. You know that? No, I know Batman. I do not know the Cape Crusader. He's known as the Cape Crusader, Bob. Fair Honest fair. to God, did not know that. I thought you were gonna say that I didn't know Batman. I know Batman. Batman right, if I was to say to you, Bob, who's the Cape Crusader, you would be like, I have no fucking idea. I thought you were saying like a Canadian superhero in all honesty. <laughs> oh, I, God. yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I really did. I was like, oh, Super it's a Mountain Canadian. Of Canada. I no, know. but th- in all honesty, Batman, I think it has to be number one. The, the movie series alone is by far the best and will never be touched. I mean, it's it's the story behind it. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, vigilante coming in and saving this the city without people knowing him. It's just it's it's just phenomenal from start to finish. The characters that have evolved from him, from the Joker and Catwoman and Riddler and Penguin. I mean, it's just by far. I I, I don't think it's un, I I don't think you can touch Batman. And it, it has to be one. Uh, it's, that's that's to me. It has to be one. Okay. Um, all right. He's got Batman there at one. Um, I'm going to go and, and I'll make mine pretty quick. Um, <laughs> I had, I had Superman a five. I don't think there's much to him from what I've seen. Um, I, I just don't think there's. <laughs> what do you see? That's how. What an outrageous <laughs> statement. <laughs> There's a guy who used the Coles note. Uh, There's not much to him from what I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Special. So 
That's oh, his, that is oh. the most. He took that right out of the Bob common phrase um, pamphlet. Ah. For, for, oh, for, uh, for, uh, yeah. Cliff notes. <laughs> I got Superman at five. I got Hulk at four. Um, now these next three are I'm going into movies that I've seen. I, Iron Man, the first one, I liked a lot. After that, I, it just came, became too much for me. Um, so I had Iron Man at three. Two Spider Man. I used to have the biggest crush, and it's not even my type. Looking back on it now, you remember Kirsten Dunst? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. very yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. yeah. As a kid, I had such a big, big crush on her. Yeah, that that, that girl next door. That very hot back in the day. The upside down kiss. Yeah, uh, yeah, and like she's not a redhead, but she is. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. you know, one of those things going on. I got that at two. Um, and then number one, I got the Cape Crusader. You can't go wrong with the Cape Crusader. Uh, well, I got Batman. I will say one of my favorite, um, a movie that I wouldn't want to say one of my favorite movies, but I really, really do love the movie. The Dark Knight, I loved. Um, yeah, I, Dark Knight. Is, yeah. yeah I, I, the Heath Ledger thing really hit me hard. Not that I knew many of his movies, but then when I saw his Joker performance and then knew, knowing that he passed away before the movie came out um, and it, the movie was just so good. So I really, really liked that. Um, and now um, I would go over Perez. I know we didn't tell you about the top five. Are you ready, ready for it? I am. By all means. How, you know, by the wow, way, too, this young man. Fat Perez on a whim's notice, back-to-back weeks, he's done it. I don't think looking back on it, there has legitimately ever been a time where I've asked Perez last minute with five minutes left to come on a show and him not just say, yeah, I'm down. Um, so fellas, if we could just clap it up for Pat Perez, it, it actually is just crazy. It's, um, and it's, it just means I'm, I live a sad life where I'm not doing anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's cold golf. Season. Commitment is half of it. Yeah, just it's ability. Cold golf and, season. <laughs> yeah. So this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> get him while he's hot now bob yeah. on the golf all right i'm gonna get i'm gonna jump right into it i'm gonna go with uh cat woman at number five Whoa. Um, oh. I'm, I'm bringing a little uh-huh. inclusion a little diversity to the lineup here very nice, very nice. ladies but she's not um, a hero she's a villain though. no but she turns them on she's not yeah she's she goes back and forth and she has superpowers she's she's agile She's uh, she's slick. She's sly. She's been played by the likes of Halle Berry and Anne Hathaway, which are both fantastic. And Michelle actresses. Pfeiffer. And Michelle no, Pfeiffer. The newest yes. one, the Zoe Zeldana one, or no, what's her name? Uh, or the uh, what the fu- what the fuck's her name? The who sings a little uh, the Kravitz ch- daughter? She's Zoe. Super. Zoe Kravitz. Zoe Kravitz. Have she's you seen a- her in, in the in the Catwoman? The I new have one. Not. I have not. Well, that's Jesus. the movie you want to you want to t- tune into there, Perez. Check that one out. <laughs> um, number four, I have Spider Man. Uh, for all of the reasons that you guys have stated before, um, Peter Parker, guy next door, um, scares me to death of spiders. I mean, the responsibility that came from one spider bite is pretty incredible. Um, <laughs> number three, I have Superman. Out of respect, um, he is, of course, we're talking about superheroes. He is Superman. Naturally, he should be on this list. Not my favorite, but I think anything lower than three is quite frankly disrespectful. Um, number number two, I have Batman um, for all the reasons that you've said. Um, he's probably my, he, you know, he, he's it's my favorite movies. Um, but number one for me is Captain America. Wow. Fair. 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 That's a good one. I'm a, I'm a goddamn patriotic motherfucker. <laughs> and he's got a shield. And he's wearing the red, white, and blue. I mean, I don't know what else you want. (laughs) All right, uh, fellas, let's get another drum roll here, please. He had one of the best buyer sells I think this show has ever seen. He's red hot here tonight. Um, That is the one, the only Mikey V on Instagram. If you want the picks before anything, prize picks, ladies and gentlemen, that's where it all starts. Promo code the boys. Smash that. It's an absolute no brainer. Um, and then Mikey V with the subs for the extra pick on the Instagram there. But let's get into the superheroes here. Mikey V. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in a different direction and I'm gonna do all Marvel superheroes because my list, my original now list you're was, just showing off. I mean, come on, dude. Because my list and Joe's list is almost identical. It's almost yeah. identical. So that's not fun. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna just go, I'll go in a different direction and maybe it'll be all a right. hit, maybe it won't be. So number five, give me Doc. Doctor Strange. I think Doctor Strange oh. is a cool ass motherfucker, bro. Like this guy, yeah. he could 
he can he does the whole twirling thing and he you know bob has no idea no, he has no, no idea and that's fine and i didn't nice coat <laughs> just a nice coat on um number four i'll go with perez K give me cap give me captain america wow. number four wow. great superhero uh all-time superhero war veteran hero god bless captain america and america number three give me black panther Give me Black Panther, rest in peace. Oh. Um, but uh, the new movie I heard is unbelievable. I still have yet to see it, but I heard it's fantastic. But Black Panther is a bad motherfucker. The know? last movie I watched, I, I didn't expect much from it. It was great. Yeah, great movie. Great movie. Number two, uh, Incredible Hulk. Got to be Incredible Hulk. I, I love the Incredible Hulk. Um, I think the most powerful, really, uh, one of the most powerful guys out there uh in terms of superhuman strength you know gotta love the hulk man and then i love bear down sorry just i got <laughs> bear down for for halloween could you please go as the incredible good. hulk i gotta get bigger if i'm gonna do that i gotta, oh, lay, off. No. I gotta lay off Christ. the peloton oh, if i'm gonna Jesus. do that just get a suit dude <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then number one really is a toss-up to me but i guess I'll, I'll i'll put him as the honorable mention um Number one, give me Iron Man. Give me Iron Man at number one. Uh, I'm going to have to put Thor as my honorable mention. Thor, God of Thunder, has definitely got to be right at the top. But Iron Man, number one. And Joe, you hit it on the head. Robert Downey Jr. Um, there's the, the, like the perfect casting for Iron Man. Absolutely nailed it. And he's just, he's the cool, he's so cool. He's just. By awesome. the way, with Robert Downey Jr., I love a good story. His. I don't love a good movie, but I love a good story. His, um, his, you know, drug addiction and all that stuff he overcame. I mean, he was in the, you talk about a guy that was in the gutter and then, you know, ended up being a superhero. I find that whole thing pretty, pretty fascinating. Joey D for honorable mention. Oh, honorable mention. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to go with Wolverine. as my Damn opinion. it. Great this pick. guy, you want to talk about the definition of a badass. And Hugh Jackman, by the way, is not far off from Robert Downey Jr. as a perfect casting for Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine's a badass, a, a leader of the X-Men. Um, just, he's an awesome kid. I, I, I loved him. I'll put him as my honorable mention. I know, Bairdon, you're not thrilled about it, but I, I think he's a great character. Yeah, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like. So that I, don't like the, I don't like that the that is true. I don't like the claws. I, I just I don't like that. He's like Freddy Krueger, basically of superheroes. So I don't like. Perez, you seem to agree with me on that one. I like yeah. that pick. I do. I, I like. I liked him. Okay. Um, never seen it, but I do love America. So give me Captain America. Smart. Um, <laughs> smart move. Go ahead, Bob. We've got to diversify you, dude. Go ahead. Go ahead and give me Captain America. Honorable mention Perez. I'm going to go with Robin. I don't think he gets enough respect. I'm not sure if he actually has. <laughs> I don't think he's superpowers. a superhero. Well, I mean, I guess um, if Batman is, he has to be. Yeah, I mean, look, at least, you know, he provides much needed support for for our guy, Bruce Wayne. Um, I don't think he, get, I think, I think, you know, the gay rumors that have, that have floated around with Robin are really unfounded. And if he is gay, then I, I support him. And I absolutely, I, it's not a problem if he is. I just, I don't see it. They all wear tights. So I, I don't, you know, I don't see it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta tell you what, uh, if that ain't the brilliantly dumb shot, I mean, that was just really, really terrific stuff out of the fellas. Let's clap it up. Let's go ahead and clap hey, it up. Uh, and me. by the way, let's wish everyone a very happy yeah. Thanksgiving. A very ah. happy Thanksgiving. A lot of lot of really fucked up things happening in this world the last week. Especially really in Qatar. Crazy shit. Qatar and on American <laughs> soil. The fucking crazy people are fucking insane. Be thankful for what you got. Remember that. Bob. God bless. Yeah. Focus hero. I think absolutely uh, the best holiday around. Again, I've said it before. Christmas gets the buildup that Thanksgiving doesn't get. But on the actual day of the holiday, I think Thanksgiving is as good as it gets. Um, fellas, enjoy. I love you. I appreciate you. That is yet another edition. The Brilliant Dumb Show. We will see you next time. And go Buckeyes. Fuck Michigan. <laughs>